This is figure 4.6, the analysis for the sulfate content of an unknown sample using a precipitation reaction. What we're going to do is take some unknown material, say a mineral, and dissolve it in water, and that uh, mineral has in it some sulfate ion, and all of that sulfate ion gets dissolved in the, in the solution. To analyze it, we'll take a solution of barium chloride, and it's in our beaker here, nice soluble barium chloride, and we'll add it slowly to the um, sulfate solution using a dropper, and what you see is a precipitation reaction occurring. That white solid is barium sulfate, completely insoluble, or very nearly completely insoluble in water. To do our analysis, what we'll do is collect all of that barium sulfate that's in our beaker. We'll collect it by pouring it through a paper conical filter, and that catches all of the barium sulfate. Now, there are two important points. First of all, we want to add just uh, enough barium chloride so that all the sulfate is precipitated. And once we do that, we want to make sure that all of the barium sulfate is captured by that filter. Once that's dried, we'll weigh it on a milligram balance. And in this case, we see that the mass of the dry barium sulfate and the filter paper is 1.675 grams. And of course, if we've masked the filter paper beforehand, we know what the net mass of barium sulfate is in our sample. Now, just as importantly, we know the weight percent of sulfate in barium sulfate. That is, in every 100 grams of barium sulfate, we know that there are a certain number of grams of sulfate ion. So we can take the net mass of barium sulfate from our precipitation reaction, and that will tell us exactly how much sulfate ion was in that sample, and therefore was back in the original mineral sample. So now that you see how the analysis works, let's try a few questions about this particular analysis.